Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, another Saturday edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. This will be a Saturday evening edition. Uh, tonight, I'm going to do one I've never had before. Um, it's a IPA from California. It just appeared in my uh, local store a couple weeks ago, so I decided I'd pick it up and uh, give it a try. It's the uh, Bear Republic Racer 5. Um, from the website, it says this American IPA is a full-bodied beer brewed with American Pale and Crystal Malts and heavily hopped with Chinook, Cascade, Columbus, and Centennial. There's a trophy in every glass. This comes in at 7.0% ABV. Okay, we'll get this out of, the, out of the bottle and in the glass and see what we have here. Unsure how aggressively to pour this. Got a nice head on that. We got a nice, that's a golden orange color. Looks like some, not super heavy, but not light carbonation, medium, medium carbonation coming up. I don't know if this is bottle conditioned or not. There seem to be a little, a few little floaties around in there. A nice, uh, Two finger, foamy white head. Um, it's a pretty looking IPA, let me tell you. Um, let, let's give it a, a smell and see what we have here. Okay, right away. This is a, this is a citrusy. This is a citrusy uh, IPA. We're getting uh, grapefruit. A lot of lemon. A lot of lemon. It's very lemony. Getting a little bit of little bit of the malts, but uh, this is mostly citrusy. Maybe a few floral notes, but this is mostly citrusy and appears to be mostly lemony. It's a good good smell and should be a good hoppy, hopefully bitter IPA. Let's see what we have for a taste. Okay, that's not not quite as bitter as I was expecting. There is a little, well, this is almost grapefruit. Now, this is definitely uh, grapefruit bitterness. I, I don't know where the lemoniness went. I, I think I just coined that word. Um, but you get get grapefruit right up front. A little malty sweetness sweetness in the middle. The finishes with kind of a slightly bitter um, herbal hops. Uh, not not really floral, more like herbal hops hops. I do notice a little alcohol on this. Um, Seems kind of surprising for 7.0% ABV beer. I've test, tasted less alcohol and higher, uh, higher ABV beers, but this is definitely a very citrusy beer. It's more of a sweet citrus, though, than there is a little bitterness there, but. It's more of a sweet citrus. It's a very tasty beer, very refreshing beer, that's for sure. There may be a bit of pine towards the end, too, leaving kind of a little piney aftertaste. Um, let me get this in, in the glass, sip on it for a few more, and I'll be back with you shortly with a... Final thoughts and great. Hey, I'm back. It hasn't been all that long. Ten minutes or so. It's another one of those beers that you don't want to let warm up too much. Um, this is a very enjoyable beer. It wasn't quite the the bitter hot hot bomb I was kind of hoping for, but this is a this is a very tasty uh, IPA. 
um, it's it's sweeter than I was was expecting, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's a little maltiness there, but it doesn't need to doesn't need a lot of maltiness because it's um, the hops are again the sweeter ones. They're more the more floral and the lighter, you know, sweeter uh, citrus hops. Um, it uh, there is a little, like I said, there is a little pininess in there on the finish. Um, it's not, it's a little bitter, but not super bitter, but it's a very enjoyable uh, IPA. Um, despite the fact it wasn't what I was kind of hoping for, um, I'm still going to give this, uh, this IPA is an IPA. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. It's very good. I recommend it if you can find it. Until next time, everybody, cheers. And keep drinking good beer.